I'm proud of pushing through this week, even though it was hard. <laughs> than my typical oversized t-shirt and <laughs> I'm gonna be honest I feel very uncomfortable I feel very exposed um, but I think that's the whole thing about building my confidence it's just wearing what I want to wear and owning it I don't have a flat stomach. I have stretch marks and crop tops aren't probably the most flattering on me. But I think it's a really, really cute top. <laughs> and I'm tired of trying to hide my body in oversized t-shirts. And to, to get through that, it's not about losing weight because I, I truly believe 
it's there's not like a magic number it's like okay when I lose 10 pounds I'll stop wearing oversized t-shirts like no it's just about loving yourself and getting out and wearing what you want to wear this journey I would try to be my most open and authentic self and I am struggling <laughs> this is so sad because we're only two days in but part of this healing journey was ridding my body of synthetic hormones I have struggled a lot with anxiety and depression and I've worked really hard to overcome that with help one week ago I had my hormonal IUD removed I knew this hormonal imbalance was coming that I was gonna struggle for a bit while my body adjusted. My body now has to learn how to produce these hormones itself once again. And that's the thing that they don't really tell you about getting these hormonal birth controls is that it can be extremely hard to get off of. And I am very low um i have the feeling like i want to implode my life and i'm just feeling a little alone even though i know i have people around me but i just am looking at my life and feeling a little bit disappointed in myself and just just struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel right now if I'm being honest but I'm gonna keep pushing through again I'm just a week in so I don't expect any quick fixes and I just need to remember that this is temporary. As my Nana would say, this too shall pass. But I just wanted to show up here and tell you that. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Thursday. I know some people like to take their rest days on the weekends. I don't mind working out on the weekends. I actually feel like I have more time. I'm not as rushed. Um, so yesterday I just could tell that I, I tried to wake up and it was like not happening. Um, so I just let myself go back to sleep and had to sleep in and I think it was really needed. It made today getting up a little bit harder than it usually is, um, but that always happens when you take a day off. So I'm up, I'm gonna drink my pre-workout, and I think we have, I think we're doing a pull day today, and a little bit of cardio. One little achievement that I wanna share is despite not working out yesterday, I still lost weight. Just goes to show you that nutrition really comes first. I ate pretty well. I just stopped at the gas station to fill up um, my tire, and I wanted so bad to stop for ice cream, so bad. 
and I went, no, no, I'm not gonna do it. So, um, I'm really, I'm, I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a better place. The breakdown <laughs> was needed and I'm coming out the other side, I think. So, it's a good day. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try at anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life. Have to be a better me. I don't I'm running so behind right now. So there will be no makeup going on until I get to work, I guess. Um, but instead of prioritizing looking good, uh, I'm going to prioritize eating because normally if I was rushed, I would just skip breakfast and I just know that that is not the best option. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day. In a hard place. I just got back. Um, we had a good gym session. I just did a 45 minute um, low intensity walk on the treadmill, which my body is so sore. Yesterday was a second leg day, and I don't think I'm used to doing two leg days in one week. I knew that I just needed a walk today. So that was nice, sat in the infrared sauna for a bit. And then I just got back from grocery shopping. Our fridge was literally empty. Like I'm, I'm in the middle of filling it right now, but like very, very empty. And I remembered why I hate going grocery shopping. It's because every time you go, your bill is so freaking high. It was like $400. So this food better last us a while. So I am just putting everything away and then we're gonna do like a house tidy and then hopefully relax for the rest of the night. Welcome to the end of week one. I'm feeling really good actually and thank goodness because the beginning of the week was rough. So I am officially now um, a week and a half post IUD removal. I had the Mirena IUD and that is the hormonal one. 
so my body has been going through major major hormone withdrawals which has been incredibly difficult on me physically and mentally i've had like so many mood swings right now my body's going through a lot a lot of changes i am taking some supplements to try to ace to try to assist with the hormonal imbalance that i'm experiencing right now um physically i've just been tired i'm so tired so this long weekend has been nice where i've slept in um but during the week i still got in my 5 a.m workouts so i'm proud of pushing through this week even though it was hard and even though i had a lot of things against me <laughs> the one thing that was made clear this week and again this whole journey is about progress not perfection and so i want to do these kind of wrap up check-ins about where i succeeded and where i need to focus harder on as predicted i nailed my workouts i worked out every single day yesterday i kind of took a rest day but i stayed active and we went out for a walk and we went disc golfing and so that counts so i hit my workouts every single day nutrition is definitely where i've fallen short and i know that this is going to be my constant challenge but on the positive side i feel good about the decisions that i've made this week overall i did a huge grocery shop so i think we're really set up for making healthy meals this week i've been trying to choose healthier options um like we did burgers last night and i chose not to have a bun i just had the burger on its own with a side caesar salad and i felt so much better after because i'm like i don't need a big burger bun it's just not necessary i don't really care for it um so making out those healthier swaps has been good where i've fallen short i think is the late night sugar cravings specifically ben and jerry's ice cream this chocolate brownie fudge it's my newest obsession and <laughs> my boyfriend's been kind of on the ice cream train too which has not been helping so i think this week where i want to focus is just limiting my sugar intake honestly i would love to try to do like no sugar at all this week just to hopefully get the cravings under control um so i think that's something i might give a try we finished out all the ice cream that was in our fridge last night so theoretically as long as we don't go buy more we won't be doing that in the evening overall i'm really excited we're ready to head into week two it's going to be very busy it's going to be very stressful emotionally as i finish off my last wedding um with the company that i've been with for like the last 10 years so big changes i'm gonna be gone all weekend so i'm just gonna try to keep prioritizing staying active i'm probably not going to get all my workouts in this week i understand that um but we're going somewhere really beautiful for this wedding and so if i can get out and get some walks in then i will consider that a success so thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me on this journey and we will see you next week bye